Andrea, uh, is there is there intelligent life in the Western United States? <laughs> in Utah? In the Western? Oh, I'm responsible for reporting out here. Got yes, it. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm on a university campus, so it ain't looking good. I got terrible news. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's isn't it interesting that people, Andrea, you know, this we poke fun of universities and things like that, but whenever they do studies and they break them down by, um, you know, by uh, by degree, you know, for instance, when they find like with the gun debate, the more degrees you have, the more you want gun control. So it just shows you that it's another indication of you don't have to necessarily trust the people with the most smarts. Yeah, well, I, I, I think. They probably have a lot of book learning, but much less practical experience when it comes to issues like that. So, uh, although uh, con- concealed carry has been uh, legal on uh, publicly funded Utah University campuses for about a decade now, so so yeah, they're I, wow, they're doing okay out there. Uh, yeah, yeah. What would you think of Stephen Hawking? Uh, was he? Um, he didn't. He believed that there was life on other planets, but he didn't think that... He thinks it's so far away that we're never going to find it. Uh, yeah, well, that was kind of the weird thing, is that he really advocated space exploration, but then as far as, like, sending messages out into the ether, he was against that because, I don't know, I guess he had some empathy for aliens. If I got a text message from a number I didn't recognize, I'd feel kind of weirded out and yeah. not want to talk to that person, so... Yeah, well, we always we do that. We've uh, uh, I think on a couple of those um, uh, satellites, uh, Pat, we sent we would put mm-hmm. together like a CD, mm-hmm. and we would put uh, right. the accumulated work of uh, you know we'd put Mozart and maybe the Police mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> maybe the Police an episode you know kind of take it in there an episode of the Tonight yeah. Show like we put a bunch of things on there and I remember looking I would always look at the list of the things we sent into outer space and I was like well they're not going to get it anyway you know right. what I mean like they're not going to get they're not just going to like groove to mozart you know right they're not going to know music from words from you know i mean I, I, think about it they, they, their language may be completely they might not even speak english yeah. let's look at it that way <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah. i mean they have a language i, I mean uh, they better learn fast yeah. right Jamie? yeah if they if they want to sing along to the police they better yeah 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 do, what, do, what, do, what do. if the music we send what if they think the music we're, we're sending them is like an insult like it's a mixtape from gitmo that we play for the detainees there that would be terrible i know and look they had <laughs> i think they had it was the, the first one i remember being sent because i remember it was on the carl sagan cosmos i think it was a laser disc like it was a big disc <laughs> and i was like how embarrassing for us i know and even at the time i was like they're not going to have a player you know they won't be able to uh you know played it with their that mind. is so misty eyed and weird from a bunch of scientists to do such a thing you know yeah I agree. just to send that out like that yeah it's an obsession well uh andrea thank you for the call